In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can manage your share and capture on Xbox. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If any of you are new here, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on so you never miss any of my videos. Basically, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can increase the length of your clips on how you can increase the length on going back even further to record a longer clip to just generally broadcast and record like a longer clip as well. And um, basically on how you can change the mapping of your buttons to like suit you whenever you want to capture something, you can press that specific button that you choose to make it. So basically make sure you stay tuned for the whole video and let's get into today's video. So the first step you want to do guys is press your Xbox home button on your control and head all the way over to settings. And once you're in settings, you want to head down to preferences. And then once you have preferences, you want to go into capture and share. And this is basically where you can manage all your capture settings and share settings. So as you can see, you can capture by me, capture by me or games, or don't capture at all in games. You can change the length of going back on how far you want to make your clips go back to record that specific thing you wanted recorded. So for example, if I like wanted to record something a minute ago, it would definitely capture that if I had it down as a minute in my settings. And then you can also manage your uploads if you want it to upload automatically for you, if you don't want it to upload automatically. And this is where you can also increase the length of your clips. Unfortunately, you can only record up to one minute in 180p and then in 720p, it is three minutes. So you can't really broadcast that long on Xbox, unfortunately, but it is pretty cool. And then obviously in button mapping, as you can see, you can change the location of your press and share button to any of those specific buttons there. And that's pretty much it. I'll quickly show you a shortcut on how you can actually get to these settings instead of going through the long way. So home button on your Xbox controller to that little share icon button where it says capture and share and then go down to capture settings and then it puts you in there. So that's a little shortcut and for today's video. So if you ever need to go there quickly, that's one way of doing it. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on so you never miss any of my videos like this. Make sure to put all your questions and queries down in the comment section below and comment I subscribe because I'll be replying to all of these. So make sure you go do that and I'll catch you all in the next video.